Understanding Rotavirus and Paramixo, The Wisdom of Dr. Hans de Weird. Across the world, in lofts both large and small, pigeon fanciers dedicate countless hours to the care and performance of their birds. Behind every successful race team lies a delicate balance, health, training, environment, and above all, disease prevention. But in recent years, two viral threats have shaken the pigeon community, rotavirus and paramixo. They've spread rapidly across continents, from Europe to Africa, Asia to South America, leaving fanciers desperate for answers. In this documentary, we turn to one of the most respected authorities in avian medicine, Dr. Hans de Weird, veterinarian, researcher, and lifelong pigeon fancier, to uncover the truth about these diseases, how they differ, and what can be done to protect the birds we love. Dr. Hans de Weird's name is synonymous with pigeon health. For decades, he has advised fanciers from Tokyo to Cape Town, from Europe's top lofts to small backyard breeders, offering practical and science-based advice. Born into a family of veterinarians, Dr. De Weird grew up surrounded by pigeons and medicine alike. His father, Dr. Hank De Weird, pioneered modern veterinary approaches for racing pigeons, and today, Hans continues that legacy, traveling the world to help fanciers understand complex diseases in simple, actionable ways. In this special session, recorded in Cape Town, South Africa, Dr. De Weird sits down with interviewer Andre and a group of passionate pigeon fanciers to discuss what he's seen in the field, outbreaks of rotavirus, the reemergence of paramixo, and how to tell the difference between them. It began with a series of mysterious deaths in young pigeons across the Cape. Fanciers reported that birds appeared perfectly healthy in the morning, but by evening, several were dead. They noticed that the birds seemed extremely thirsty, emptying water containers within minutes, and yet deteriorating just as quickly. Was it paramixo? Was it rotavirus? Or something else entirely? The challenge, as Dr. DeWeird explains, was made worse by import restrictions. Many of the most effective vaccines and medications were unavailable in South Africa due to registration laws. Fanciers were left guessing, trying to treat what they could not accurately diagnose. Dr. De Weird begins by describing rotavirus, often called young bird disease. It strikes suddenly, usually in birds six to eight weeks old, and can devastate a loft overnight. The key symptoms, he explains, are vomiting, loss of appetite, and rapid death in young pigeons. Unlike paramixo, the birds don't usually show nervous signs at first. They might seem fine in the morning, then suddenly listless, vomiting, and dying by the evening. Rotavirus attacks the digestive system. It causes dehydration and inflammation of the intestines, leading to severe fluid loss, the reason why water bowls empty so quickly. But despite appearances, it's not that the birds choose to drink more water. Their bodies are simply losing it faster than they can replace it. Dr. De Weird stresses that rotavirus progresses rapidly and that early detection and isolation are vital. Because no loft is immune, outbreaks can occur even in the cleanest environments, especially during the racing season when birds are under stress. By contrast, Paramyxovirus, often linked to Newcastle disease in poultry, develops more slowly, but is just as dangerous. Its signature sign is excessive water drinking. The loft floor becomes wet, the droppings turn watery, and birds may begin to show nervous symptoms, twisting of the neck, uncoordinated movements, or pecking beside the food rather than at it. Unlike rotavirus, paramyxo rarely causes vomiting. Instead, it attacks the nervous system and kidneys, resulting in long recovery times. Dr. De Weird cautions that incubation can last up to six weeks, meaning a pigeon vaccinated two weeks earlier could still fall ill, leading fanciers to believe the vaccine didn't work, when in fact the bird was already infected before immunity developed. So how can a fancier distinguish between the two? In rotavirus, deaths occur suddenly and mostly among young birds. Vomiting is common. In paramixo, symptoms build more gradually, with heavy drinking and wet droppings. Nervous signs may appear weeks later. In rota, the water intake appears high, but it's from dehydration. In paramixo, birds truly drink liters of water daily. 
Doctor. De Weird reminds fanciers that observation is their most powerful tool. Ask questions. How old are the birds? When were they vaccinated? How do they drink? Are they vomiting or not? Every detail helps identify the real cause. When it comes to vaccination, his advice is clear and practical. For healthy pigeons, the first paramyxo vaccination should be given at 6 to 7 weeks of age, followed by a booster 6 weeks later. This provides up to a full year of protection. However, during an outbreak, he sometimes vaccinates valuable birds multiple times within a single week, not as standard practice, but as an emergency measure to stimulate the immune system. Each vaccination delivers viral proteins that encourage the body to produce additional antibodies, giving sick birds a fighting chance to recover. The key, he says, is to choose quality vaccines. Not all brands are equal. He prefers watery-based vaccines like Kolombovac, which are gentle and effective, avoiding the painful oil-based injections that can cause lumps or damage in older birds. How do these viruses spread? The answer, Dr. DeWeird explains, is largely through close contact and aerosolized droplets, similar to how human viruses spread in crowded spaces. Inside a pigeon loft, where birds live close together, viruses can multiply rapidly. He compares it to the human pandemic, locking birds together in a confined space only increases viral concentration. Good ventilation, dry floors, and isolation of new birds are the most effective preventive steps. If you buy new pigeons, quarantine them for at least two weeks, even if the breeder claims they are vaccinated. And always revaccinate them yourself. Trust, but verify. The conversation expands beyond rota and paramyxo into other common pigeon ailments, eye infections, ornithosis, and herpes viruses. Dr. DeWeird explains how puffy eyes and respiratory problems, often seen after early races, are part of a broader ornithosis complex, infections affecting the upper respiratory tract, eyes, and sinuses. He warns that these symptoms can be triggered by a mix of bacteria and viruses, not just one cause. Treatment involves improving loft conditions, reducing drafts, and sometimes using mild antibiotics like spiromycin, but prevention always starts with air quality. He also introduces a growing concern, herpes type 2, a viral disease that kills young pigeons within five days. It often mimics other infections, with crusted eyes and yellow membranes in the mouth. Doctor De Weird emphasizes that while affected birds cannot be saved, quick antibiotic injections can stop the spread within the loft, though the exact reason remains unclear. Throughout the session, Dr. De Weird returns to a recurring theme, misinformation. He laments that pigeon sport is full of myths and fairy tales. Unproven remedies, exaggerated claims, and false diagnoses often cause more harm than good. Many so-called miracle vaccines sold for herpes, circo, or adenoviruses simply do not work. Some are repackaged poultry or swine vaccines with no proven effect on pigeons. Dr. DeWeird calls these practices irresponsible, even criminal, because they give fanciers false hope while endangering their birds. True veterinary science, he reminds us, is about observation, evidence, and consistency, not rumor. Beyond the science, what stands out most is Dr. DeWeird's passion for his work. He speaks warmly of the countless fanciers he helps each day, from Tokyo to South America, and of the satisfaction that comes from saving pigeons and restoring confidence to their owners. If I can help people, he says, it's a wonderful job. That simple statement captures the spirit of the man, a blend of scientist, teacher, and lifelong pigeon lover. The message of this interview reaches far beyond Cape Town. For every pigeon enthusiast, the lessons are universal. Watch your birds closely, record symptoms carefully, vaccinate on schedule with trusted products, maintain ventilation and hygiene in the loft, quarantine new arrivals, and above all, keep learning, because diseases evolve, and so must our understanding. Doctor De Weird reminds us that good pigeon health begins not with medication, but with management, observation, and respect for the birds themselves. As the conversation concludes, the audience in Cape Town expresses gratitude. 
they've learned that what seems like a mystery often has a logical explanation if you ask the right questions and listen to experience. Dr. DeWeird's teachings blend decades of research with a lifetime of hands-on care, bridging the gap between science and the real-world challenges faced by fanciers everywhere. In a sport where success can hinge on the smallest details, knowledge truly is the best medicine. And thanks to experts like Dr. Hans de Weird, that knowledge continues to spread, keeping our pigeons healthier, stronger, and ready to fly. This has been Understanding Rotavirus and Paramixo, the wisdom of Dr. Hans de Weird, produced for pigeon fanciers and enthusiasts across the world, sharing insight, science, and care for the birds that unite us all.